All right, it's your girl Kia from Worldviews, and I'm here to tell you how you can start your business in Kenya through our local company, Views of Africa. So we're here on our main page, Worldviews. Click the business tab. Once you click the business tab, it will redirect you to our Views of Africa page. Scroll down to the bottom and you will find our Views of Africa Business Center. We offer three standard business packages. We have our Deluxe, Royal, and VIP. It's the double standards for me. Joe Biden is opening his arms to Ukrainians. About 100,000 Ukrainians, I believe, he wants to bring to the United States of America. But we have witnessed so much bias when it comes to African refugees, the Haitian refugees, people from Cameroon. I've done reports on this uh, last year, I believe. He was returning people that were escaping their own country because of legal issues, because they blew the whistle on their government or because um, they are opposing the government. And he knows there's a death sentence waiting for them because they spoke up, because they stood up for their people. And he didn't have any problem, no problem whatsoever to send them back, knowing that they will be killed when they go back to their countries. But when it comes to other white people, when it comes to Europeans, it's like we need to help them. They have blue eyes and blonde hair like us. They are important. So this is a clear double standard. And what makes me sad is the Africans that had to go through physical abuse in their offices. They were forced to sign off their rights. They were put in one aeroplane like their cattle all of them stuffed and sent back to their countries. And this is during coronavirus. This was when people were scared for their lives and there's this virus that is killing millions of people. They did not care. They violated those Africans' human rights. Not to mention the Haitians that were being hit by those white police officers on their horses. We all saw those pictures. It was just heartbreaking to watch. Now though, when it's Ukrainians, the tone is different. The way they approach it is different. They're different kinds of refugees. They're like us, you know? So for me, my as an African, my advice to fellow Africans is that we should stay where we are. We should build our own continent. We should work hard to have a better life and create a better future for our kids. Not the other way around, not fleeing our countries and going to the US, to Europe. Look at how they're treating us. Look at how they see us. But don't also forget that we have all the resources. We have everything that we need. Yes, you might argue bad governance. How are we going to move forward? Bad leadership. But we can't fix it if you're fleeing. We can't fix it if you're leaving us, you know? So let's stay here, build and work hard at uh, bettering our circumstance and situation. And we don't have to be discriminated against and mistreated by the white man if we all are here and we are committed to changing our circumstance i think we can and as for biden and his administration and their bias i mean i'm not surprised that's what they do isn't it anyways fam let us know down below what your thoughts are about this i am on gilzal alam i'll see you on the next one bye